Hi guys, welcome to another audio video. In the Abereden, 2 Chronicles 9 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, And when the Queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to prove Solomon with hard questions at Jerusalem, with a very great company and camels that bear spices, and gold in abundance and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions, and there was nothing hid from Solomon which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen the wisdom of Solomon and the house that he built, that he had built, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his servants, and the attendance of his ministers, and their apparel, his cupbearers also, and their apparel, and his ascent, by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report which I heard in mine own land of thine acts and of thy wisdom, albeit I believed not their words, until I came and mine eyes had seen it. And behold, the one half of the greatness of the of thy wisdom was not told me for thou exceedest the fame that i heard happy are thy men and happy are thy servants which stand continually before thee and hear thy wisdom blessed be the lord thy god which delighted in thee to set thee on this throne on his throne to be king for the lord thy god because thy god loved israel to establish them for ever. Therefore made he thee king over them, to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold, and of spices great abundance, and precious stones. Neither was there any such spice as the queen of Sheba gave king Solomon. And the servants also of Huram, and the servants of Solomon, which brought gold from Ophir, brought algum trees and precious stones and the king made of the algum trees terraces to the house of the lord and to the king's palace and harps and psalteries for singers and there were none such seen before in the land of judah and king solomon gave to the queen of sheba all her desire whatsoever she asked beside that which she had brought unto the king so she turned and went away to her own land, she and her servants. Now the weight of the gold, sorry, the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred and three score and six talents of gold, beside that which chapmen and merchants brought, and all the kings of Arabia and governors of the country brought gold and silver to Solomon, and King Solomon made two hundred hard targets of beaten gold, six hundred shekels of beaten gold went to one target. And three hundred shields made he of beaten gold, three hundred shekels of gold went to one shield, and the king put them in the house of the forest of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with pure gold. And there were six steps to the throne, with a footstool of gold, which were fastened to the throne, and stays on each side of the sitting place, and two lions standing by the stays. And twelve lions stood there on the one side, and on the other, and on the other upon the six steps. There was not the like made in any kingdom. And all the drinking vessels of King Solomon were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold, none were of silver. It was not anything accounted of, the, of in the days of Solomon. For the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servants of Huram. Every three years once came the ships of Tarshish, Tarshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. And King Solomon passed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. 
and all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom that God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present vessels of silver and vessels of gold, and raiment, harness, and spices, horses, and mules at a reed year, a reed year by year. And Solomon had four thousand stalls of horses and chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen, whom he bestowed in the chariot cities, and with the king at Jerusalem. And he reigned over all king over all the kings, from the river even unto the land of the Philistines and to the border of Egypt. And the king made silver in Jerusalem as stones, and cedar trees made he as the sycamore trees that are in the low plains in abundance. And they brought unto Solomon horses out of Egypt and out of all lands. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon, first and last, are they not written in the books of Nathan the prophet, and in the prophecy of Ahijah the Shilonite, and in the visions of Idu the seer, against Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. And Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel forty years, and Solomon slept with his fathers, and he was buried in the city of David his father, and Rehoboam his son reigned in his stead. Alright guys, so here we are. We're basically caught up on everything before Everything basically started going downhill for Israel. Right? And here we see that we're reminded that people actually sought after King Solomon and came and worshipped God because of all that they see God doing through King Solomon. Because if you notice, even the Queen of Sheba, she came and she said that their God was, she glorified God and said that their God saw him fit to put over Israel and great is our God, the God of Israel. And many came in and like I said before in the previous chapter, they did not seek to fight against him, they did not seek to harm him, they seek to find out what they could learn from him because they saw the work that God was doing through him. And they saw that he was indeed a man endowed with the wisdom of God. And so guys, we want we should all want that for ourselves. I mean, we probably won't get the portion that Solomon got. But we can pray for even a small minute portion of what he had. Okay, it's, it's not a bad thing to want these things. It's actually a good thing to want them. Alright, so I encourage you to seek out what you want and ask God for what you want. He will surely grant it. Alright guys, so remember to continue walking in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.